Yeah. Hi, this is Jonathan again. I'm going to talk to you about the north and south bridge from the processor and the PCI slots and the power they use for the PCI. All right, first off, here's your processor. Here's the north bridge. You got the south bridge right here. Right here is the north bridge again. On the north bridge, you'll have the um, the RAM, the video card, yeah, those stuff are, like those that, etc. PCI Express 16 slots. They're all going to run off the north bridge. And over here, you go to the south bridge. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a flat. It's not it's both because it's how the heat sink over. But this is the uh, north bridge, right? Or the south bridge, excuse me, south bridge right here. And on the south bridge, you'll have the um, the PCI slots and the OI, OI device and um, hard drive, USB, sound, firewire. That stuff all will run from the south bridge. Over here, you got the PCI slots. All right, see, this one is a 32. This one is a 32. This one is a 32, and this one is a 32. So all four of these PCI slots are 32 bits. This is the back part view of them. So if it was longer to about, say, about eight, right, right here, it would be 64 bit. Each of these each of these 32 bit PCI slots run a 3.3 volt power. If they were bigger, they'd be a 5, a 5 volt power. But they're not, so they're a Dell. And that was the explanation of the north and south bridge from the processor and the PCI slots and the power they run. Thank you. Sure. That's all.